Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors into the apostles, double honors into the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. The 144,000 <clears throat> and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathen that look like those heathens. This is not a color thing. And to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you another lesson in truth. And I'm going to read a quick scripture to start this thing off. This won't be a long video, but I do... Wanted to be precise in uh, in edification because that is our jobs to watch and to edify. And this is Habakkuk two and one, and it reads, "And I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will see what be <clears throat> what he will say unto me, and what shall I answer when I am reproved." And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. He has gotten extremely sloppy with his uh, special events, we'll call it that. All right? Really sloppy, almost laughable at this point. That, you know, it's so embarrassing, the things that they try to pull off. And people are really hip to it, all right? And um, and they're, and they're going on with their distractions as usual. With distraction news, when you got real things that are happening, and then you got things that are minute things, and then you got things that are just complete distractions just to distract you from what's really happening. Right, like uh, for example, this whole P. Diddy thing, right? And so they want to use black crime, <laughs> which is only a a, a mere, uh, uh, you know, a mere inkling of the level of of the same crimes that's done by so-called white people. But um, they're using P. Diddy, they're using a so-called black guy to hide white crime, and it's so obvious at this point. Matter of fact, let's get that video. And uh, I think that, well, this is on TikTok. I mean, uh, but uh, this one is off Instagram because I actually sent it to, to a few people on Instagram. So pay attention. All right. So here we go. What happened? Hold on. Salaki. P. Diddy is the distraction. So apparently the CEO of the shipping container that hit the bridge in Baltimore was the CEO that backed up in a pond in Texas in her Tesla and drowned. Angela Chow, Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. Senator Mitch McConnell announced he was stepping down two weeks after the CEO's death. Do we think the events are related or do we think it's a coincidence? I love you. Have a good night. Let's let it play one more time. And there she is. course then it wants to go in and out of focus ah oh, that really pisses me off but that uh that woman let me matter of fact let me play that again it's just beyond obvious that there's something is being used to cover something is going on all right there is a definitely uh, a connection between this woman dying and that thing hitting that bridge all right and I'm not sure what it is, but uh, maybe she was going to tell. Maybe she had knowledge of 
what was going to happen before it happened. I don't know, but let's play it one more time. Diddy is the distraction. So apparently the CEO of the shipping container that hit the bridge in Baltimore was the CEO that backed up in a pond in Texas in her Tesla and drowned. So yeah, she just backs a car into a pond and drowns. Angela Chow, huh. Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law. Senator Mitch McConnell announced he was stepping down two weeks after the CEO's death. Hmm. Do we think the events are related or do we think it's a coincidence? I love you. Have a good night. So there's the poor lady who backed her car up, met her final destination. All right. But you can't believe anything that comes out of these people's mouths. And as I play this video, let me get a few more scripture. This is uh, Psalms 58 and, uh, and 3. And it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop at the ear. So when you come with the truth, they close up their ears. All right. Kind of like uh, the truth behind the fact that the Israelites, mainly the Israelites, um, and even some of these, these Moorish science people were constantly pointing out the fact on the Internet, on YouTube and other sources of social media since since YouTube, <laughs> since 2007, especially with the men of the Lord, first and foremost, um, have been showing you images of the black people that ruled and were living in Europe during the Dark Ages after the fall of Rome. All right. They were there during the time of Rome. And see, Hollywood gave you this this false uh, belief through their books and through their movies that you know that 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 portion of Asia, which they call Europe, uh, was had only had white people in it, and that's that is where they're from, and that's so that's so far from the truth. Never showing you that you know that the holy relics of the people in the Bible during biblic biblical times, going into the Dark Ages after Year One. You remember the movie Year One? And they definitely didn't show you what what Putin did, and now they're making this big deal about Putin. Revealing these images and then people saying that, oh, well, I don't care what the color of the Lord is. I still love them. Well, if that were the truth, you wouldn't have went with the Renaissance lies. And it's beyond obvious that the Renaissance changed everything. All right. It, it completely, totally whitewashed history. It even went back thousands of years prior to it and whitewashed past history. All right. But they but, you know, but they're making a big deal out of these, uh, you know, these 14th century uh, images. Well, they're ones that go back further than that, all across Europe, not just in Russia, all right, but in Sweden and and you know in Denmark and and, and you know and through through all throughout uh, uh, Ireland, Scotland, you know, uh, Sweden, Romania, the Voronet Church of Romania, back to the eighth century, the sixth century, the fifth century, it was called the Dark Ages because dark people were ruling. All right. But then, but they've pushed this this false narrative that, you know, so could, like I said, the portion of Asia that they call Europe, because they split Asia up into three parts. They they left some of it Asia and they call part of it Europe and then they call part of it the Middle East. Right. Because the so-called Middle East and so-called uh, Europe are basically Western Asia. All right. And that's just what it is. That's what it was called. That's what, it's, that's what it's referred to in the Bible. Okay. But nevertheless, getting back to the, to the story at hand, we're, we're looking at a people, we're observing a people that all they do is lie. And, and then when you catch them in the lie, they just, what? Re really? Did that, you know? This is Job 13 and 4, and it reads, But ye are forges of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. All right? So let's watch the team of Redacted. And Redacted, you know, is a great name. And this is a great show, this, this husband and wife duo right here. Um, 
and then they have a, a third person that works with them. I forget his name. Um, but Clayton Morris and his wife, I forget his wife's name. I think it's Melissa or Alyssa. But the, the you know, but the, uh, this couple here, they put out some really good information. Unlike, and I should have queued up uh, Lisa Haven's lie. That's the one I forgot to queue up. Where she called, uh, now we've all seen, you know, uh, ISIS be referred to. We saw, I've seen the videos when, with the Israeli uh, uh, people themselves referring to, you know, uh, uh, to it as the Israeli secret intelligence service. All of a sudden, on Lisa Havens today, when she talked about this threat that came from Russia, this very credible threat in retaliation for what was done in Russia and how they're blaming uh, ISIS, which was working for America. And, and, and so listen to what I just said. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Because she said in, the, in her video that ISIS now, if now all of a sudden ISIS means uh, uh, Syria, Iran, the Islamic uh, Syria, Iran, something. Oh, now that's ISIS. And it makes absolutely no sense because they're going to work for America and attack Russia. It, it makes absolutely. And Russia has been helping Syria since, uh, uh, you know, they they got attacked and bombed by, you know, going back when when uh, uh, when Obama was president, back when 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 Trump was president. They've been an ally and a help to Syria. All right. And they're also uh, partners with 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 Iran, the BRICS countries. So why would groups of Syrians and Iranians, I mean, you know, attack people in Russia, their 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 biggest ally? You you it's uh, it's so pathetic. And guess what? You're gonna have dumbass Americans who are gonna listen to that and believe it. And I, you know, so I'm like, man, wow, Lisa Haven and took the bag. Right, because before she even started, you know, she her, her her broadcast on the one that I'm speaking of, she uh she said first she had to give a shout out to her sponsors, and that was about a two minute long commercial for her sponsors, and then she went on to say this horrific, almost you know hilarious lie. But without any further ado, uh, Clayton and his wife, Clayton Morris and his wife, are redacted which means to remove, like when you remove information, and that's, you know, they removed history, especially of so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They re it was, our history has been redacted, but here we go. And we're not taking what the Biden administration is telling us about this bridge collapse on, on face value. They are known liars. They lie for a living. So I've been heartened to see that it seems like about 80%, maybe even 90% of you were like, yeah, something is absolutely fishy with this. This doesn't make sense. Things are not adding up. And then there's about 10% of you that are like, no, I believe the Biden administration. I believe what they're telling us is true, that this is probably misinformation. Okay. You do you, however you want to go about it. Well, <laughs> we now have the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, um, has released its initial black box assessment of the cargo ship collision in Baltimore. So, Philip, you can roll this. This, Mind you, black boxes are designed to work when everything else doesn't. This is their video that they released on board the ship where they're going to see this is their ship that pulled up alongside. They've got their drones out. They've been doing their initial assessments. Turns out that during the power outage, the black box didn't record a bunch of key information. Yes, the black box somehow didn't manage to record vital info. That's not supposed to happen. Even with the power off, it should independently operate. So keep rolling this, if you would, Philip. I'll just read some of what the NTSB found here, but you can see the initial crash and those cargo containers right now, which have breached. We'll get to that in a second. So at about 0.39... Uh, oh, there are deadly and hazardous materials in a lot of those car in a lot of those containers too. By the way, so not only have you had uh, damage, which is um, to to the you know, because they say this is one of the biggest ports. It's actually one of the most important as far as getting ships and goods and services in and out uh, of America. 
All right. So you have so this is going to have a major, major effect on the economy almost immediately. And with these bridges, and then there's also two other bridges that you supposedly have gone down or out of op, you know, and, and, you know, this is, is it a coincidence or is it deliberate attack or a deliberate attack? I'm going to go with deliberate because of what's about to happen. And it may not be elections too. So expect, you know, we told you, look, this, this, this spring and this summer is going to be pretty interesting in America. Right. In hours on Tuesday morning, the box ship Dolly got underway from Baltimore's Seagrit Terminal with 21 Indian crew members, two local pilots, 56 hazmat containers on board. The pilots released Damn, the docking tugs shortly after hazmat and the containers was on its way into the open channel. Then at about one in the morning, one one hour, 24, zero. I don't know how you say that in military times like zero, one twenty four a.m. Dolly was underway in the channel, Zero, making eight knots and steering 141 degrees. Then at about 1.25 a.m., multiple alarms went off. And the video, the VDR, which is the black box, ceased recording. It just stopped. So the black box just stopped recording anything at 1.25 a.m., according to the NTSB. Using backup power... The, the black box kept recording bridge audio only. That's it. Nothing else. One minute later, 1.26 a.m., the black box was able to resume recording the ship's electronic data. Okay. Shortly after that, at 1.26, the pilot made a general VHF call for tug assistance. So we have basically two minutes of the black box not recording anything. The vital two minutes. Hmm. Son of a, you piece of... Shut the... Strange. That's, so, uh, that's... Isn't that what the black box is supposed to do? I yes. mean, that's... Yes. It just seems... That's just... Like, that's the whole point if, of the black if, box. If there is, yeah, if there's nothing nefarious going on, then this is, like, the most unfortunate, like... You know, like like a circumstance to, to that, that, like, in the in the, the most critical moment, the black box just... By the way, that's the U.S. national debt that's on the ticker tape on the screen. All right. That's the destruction of your economy. By the way, America's finished. But let's let them continue. Happens to stop recording. Yeah. I mean, it's like the, it's like the well, Epstein uh, uh, security camera. Yes. Right. 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 Like, yes. Exactly. Right. The 17 Can minutes missing from it? Nixon's White House, uh, you know, White House uh, during for Watergate. Go ahead, David. Exactly. Can we think of another time that the black boxes didn't work? The other only other time in history that we've ever heard that they haven't worked when that was. Um, uh, I think it happened in some September, in the month of September or something. Yeah, I mean, it was on September 11th. That's so strange. Yeah, it's it's very strange when these things just like stop working like that. Um, so, you know, it could be a total coincidence. How many of you totally. show of hands think it's a coincidence? Yes or no? We don't believe in coincidences here on the show. So you, again, you do you. You know, if you believe the Biden administration, you do you. So use that backup power. Then it kept recording a little bit longer. It kept, and then it recorded some of the pilot's verbal rudder commands. One minute later, 126, the VDR was able to resume and it got some of that electronic data. So again, for two minutes, gone. Here's the NTSB talking about, now I want you to bear in mind, President Biden came out days ago and told us first thing in the morning that there's nothing to see here. Our, you know, initial investigation, no foul play, nothing to worry about. We're going to rebuild the port and we're going to re we're going to pay for everything. We're going to fix the bridge. Don't worry about it. Let's move along. I got to get a catch a flight to North Carolina. Two days later, the NTSB now admits that they just arrived on board to start their initial investigation. Wow. So how did the Biden administration get this data when they hadn't even landed on the ship yet? Watch. The operations and engineering I hope you'll pay attention uh, group to that. was able to board the vessel last night, and they did a walkthrough of the vessel, including the bridge and the engine room. Uh, they were looking for other electronic uh, components, any sort of downloadable recorders, any sort of cameras, any sort of CCTV. Uh, they did not find any of those things, uh, but uh, that search continues. Oh, 
We're just we're looking around like anything here recording anything at any time. No. Yeah, we don't have any huh. recording We're equipment. Magically off again? They're what? all gone. We can't find anything. That's so weird. So there's no recording equipment. And as one viewer wrote me this afternoon to say, hey, Clayton, why was there only like one CTTV camera? In that Great location? question. Like, why are we only seeing footage from like one location, that one CTV, uh, CCTV camera? Good question. So we don't know. So let's go to um, the frame four here. Yeah, that one there, Phil. So at this time. It so only that one camera was working from that one angle. And I watched the video over and over again, about five different versions of it in super slow motion. You also saw explosions at the top uh, across the bridge. And it fell straight down in its own footprint after being hit by this large boat that was pushing into it. So it didn't fall away. Everything dropped straight down. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, Deuteronomy comes out every week, <laughs> comes out every week, 33 and 29. And it reads, happy out thou Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by Yahweh, the shield of thy help and who is the sword of thy excellency and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. Thou shalt tread upon their high places because these people just keep getting exposed, being shamed through their own media, through their own sources. All right. Often by their own women. OK. You know, in Obadiah, Obadiah 1, 6. It says. How the things of, of Esau searched out, how are his hidden things sought up? Well, through the men of the Lord filtering the, the current events. Through the, through the prophecies, through the scriptures, all right? And men that don't do that is because they can't, because the Holy Spirit is not with them, all right? These are the same people who deny, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the sea hip and, and get on, you know, and just sit, sit across from, uh, from small hatters from Amalek and then throw, the, and then speak lies and throw the, and throw their own brothers, their own people under the bus, you know, with lies. But what you really have to watch out for is the after effect. What comes after this? What sort of restrictions? You know, what sort of new laws? What sort of new oppressive uh, uh, um, totalitarian things are going to come out of this? OK, not to mention that, you know, you've got, uh, you know, three look like possibly three major bridges and ports that are um, that are cut off which is going to damage the supply chain. It also makes me think, well, were they preparing? You know how the, the troops went out because of the eclipse and all this, whatever's come. Well, you know, they've never deployed troops because of an, an, an eclipse before. And then bridges get taken out, supply chains, and separating, you know, places from places. And I don't know, it looks like they, they're setting up and prepared for something. That's what it seems like. That's what it feels like. But uh, let's get one last scripture because we don't know what sort of uh, oppressive um, totalitarian laws that they're going to push, you know, or, or statutes and codes that, that actually go against the law of the land that they're going to push to, you know, to oppress and control the people. All right. But this is Psalms 94 and, uh, and 20. And it reads, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahweh is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off of, in their own wickedness. Yeah, Yahweh, our power shall cut them off. So. We're saying bring it on, hurry up, because you're not going to get to do uh, to the prophets this go around as you did to us in the past. So with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kwam Yasser, Shalom.